Hello there, viewers, and welcome to another week of thrills, spills, and lack of cricket skills with us here at the Frimley Phoenix. If you haven't already seen the live show, this week's treat is the second eleven versus Frimley Forts. No major changes to the lineup, other than we welcome James Martin and Ben Turnbull to the gang. Hang on, I hear you say, that's not Hawley. Indeed, not viewer. This, as our regulars will know, is Broxhead Common, where the first eleven went on a jolly gallop to play Greyshot. And as Alan Doyle won the toss, he and Neil Chooks set into bat, and the others put their feet up for half the day. Back to the second eleven. Who had a point to prove? And what a great opening drive by Rohan Singh. Remember last week, when the second eleven suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of Frimley Forts? Well, now was the time for revenge, and we had an advantage. We had a flat wicket. Nimesh, though, had no advantage. He had a hangover, and figured if he ran twice as far, he may lose it twice as quickly. Call for LBW and given! Oh, poor Rohan. For such a talented batsman, he hasn't yet fired this season. So on to Yogi to give it a clout. And a good thing too, it's been a great opening spell by young Neeston Rebello and Ben Beers Baker. That's it, getting into the swing of things. Some viewers may notice that the Frogbox camera is a little too far to the right. This I will blame on the wind as opposed to my own incompetence in not tightening it properly, allowing for the wind. Basically, it was windy. And Nimesh's luck finally ran out, just when his hangover had cleared. So, at 41 for 2, it's a solid enough start and a place to build on. No reason to panic, like we did last week. Ooh. Why does Ryan constantly attract nobles at the moment? Oh, smack! Nothing wrong with Yogi's arms. He just needs that big score that he's been waiting for. But that's not going to be today. Poor old Yogi. Ah, stick the kettle on, have a little snooze, Ash is batting. An extraordinary event manifesting divine intervention in human affairs. The definition of a miracle. Oh, gold, another one. And I think that's a noble for most people. He's going to start talking about my films now. So I'll just say that that shot was superfluous. Oh, unlucky. It was a chance, and he should have taken it. Just like that. Poor Ryan. Never quite got going. Well, things aren't quite looking as good as they were. Suddenly, we're 64 for 4. Make that 5. James Martin in his debut for the twos. And it's a golden duck. Oh, a relief, but close. If you want to get Luke Hoggarth, you've got to get him early. Otherwise, he'll do that to you. You can't put cake in front of a child and expect it not to eat it. Ooh, which windscreen has he picked today? Ah, a delicate little single. Ash turning it into a double. Chance for run out? Oh dear, overthrows. And it's gone all the way. Six runs. Shot Ash. Very good. Of course, he's there as well. Yin and Yang. Two opposite forces complementing each other. Oh, see you next year. Oh, flashbacks of last week. That, however, mighty. Sent to the heavens! The ancient Greeks wrote myths about events of such magnitude. It's good to see an umpire jogging with style. 
Shot to Cafe Corner. And that's it. Buy the man an ice cream. It's the fastest 50 the Phoenix has ever seen. 52 in 21 balls. Another LBW shout. Oh, never a dull moment in this innings. The IPL can only dream of such a scenario. There's that word in my head again. Relentless. This is Rebello the Younger, coming back for his second spell. The pressure is telling, though. You can't tame this beast. Again, short and in the slot. Time to survey the carnage from a different angle. Yes, a, a delivery he can't hit, but it needs to be legal. Bash! And yet another bound. Pitch side commentary. How novel. Fair's fair. Ash and Luke have finally faced the same number of deliveries. Oh! What athleticism! Fairly innocuous, I know, but we hadn't seen Ash in a while. And see him no more we shall. Skied one to mid-off. Score goes to 154. We can work with that. But I don't think Luke Hoggarth is quite satisfied yet. Hits it high! Is it all over? No! Fielder didn't make it. He's getting Baz running for a second. Oh, and another chance goes begging. Lost his rhythm for a little while. Normal service resumes. I think an onlooker put this best. It's the way it's been for quite some time. And Ben Beers Baker was bowling well in his first spell. Now it's all gone to pot. Two away. A true showman. Magnificent and ruthless at the same time. He wanted this shot whilst doing his ident. I'll never use it again, but on this day, he deserves it. What have we got? Yeah. We've got Luke Hogarth getting the quickest century Frimley Phoenix has ever seen. 104 for 49 deliveries. Awesome hit. And Baz loses his hat. <laughs> no, sorry Frimley Forths. He has no intention of retiring, does this one. Well, come on, viewer. This innings has deserved a like and subscribe, hasn't it? To Cafe Corner it flies once again. That's now the club's highest individual score. And finally he falls. 15-year-old Ashi Schneebu does the job. Well, it looked a little bleak at 64 for 5, didn't it, viewer? Very different complexion now. Five overs to go. Who's here to give it a slog? Oh, it's me! Huzzah! Oh, it doesn't do any harm to fantasy league points. Baz is telling me he wants me to open the batting. Maybe he should think on that one a little more. You burk. Ah, Baz. Like a swan landing on water. Graceful, yet awkward. And very grateful when you feed it bread. And now Dan of the Hall Galleys is getting involved. Mohammed Amir in for an over. Not the Mohammed Amir, another one. Dan Hall Galley couldn't hit Mohammed Amir like that. 
Always good to see a straight arm, but oh no, he's hit it high. Can the lad catch? He can! Oh, shame, and Dan was looking good for a little while. Well, two overs. Can we make it to 150? Come on, Ben. No, we can't. Never mind. Still, 243 is more than enough needed to defend, even though Luke Hogger scored 127 and the rest of us scored 116. Difficult day for the bowlers, Saeem Ali getting 3 for 29, and Ashish Nebu 3 for 33. Frankly though, they were powerless against Luke Hoggath. I interviewed him after the innings and his packet of crisps. Hiya, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, club record, yeah. and quickest 50, quickest yeah. century, yeah. how do you feel? That was adequate. <laughs> no, it's right. yeah, really good. You can take felt, a rest now. Felt good, you? yeah, felt good. Well, you say that, you've still got a bowl. Um, yeah, it was good. Got out to a 15-year-old. Yeah, got out to a 15-year-old. The ball just died. Didn't come anywhere. So. Also, yeah. the most sixes in the Clearly, the yeah, previous record the holder wanted a word. Are you yes. and jealous? I'm heartbroken. I had uh, I had 50 off 29 last season with eight sixes. He's come in 50 off of 21. Ten sixes. Gutted. Absolutely <laughs> gutted. <laughs> this wasn't the only news of the day. <laughs> But 25 minutes prior to Luke, Alan Doyle finally hit his ton. And he was joined by Neil Jukes for a second ton of the year. Both of them with rather the same number of deliveries. Average compared to Hoggeth, but still, three tons in a day, 549 runs. What more can an English team ask for? Well, a bit of a rough start to Downhall Galley's spell. Ben Turnbull started at the other end, watched on the boundary by his dad, Richard. One man and his dog. And such a manly starts. Chima chasing after a wide delivery, but he gets his reward. Four runs. Well, a nervous opening over, but Ben started to find his line and length. Oh, the ball made him jump back. Well, that's torn it. Well, something in his leg anyway. PT instructor Luke set to mend it. Ryan started practicing the shots that he should have played earlier. With this bat, I will kill daisies. Unable to continue, Chima gave way to Steve Hardwich, who gave way straight away. Not looking good for Frimley 4th 11. 14 for 1, but it might as well be 2. And Dan O'Galley finally breaks through in his third over. And a celebratory salute to boot. So fast, he broke the bail. Mohammed Amir gets a gift first up. Played right into his strength. No, really, it did. Watch the next five deliveries. See what I mean? At the other end, the youngster Ashish Nebu. Ah, oh, and DHG breaks through again. Not good. Not good indeed for Frimley 4th 11. And this week, they don't have Jim Fox to back him up. Oh, what a catch by Ash. Great reactions. And that's another reaction. But at least the bat went towards the offside this time. There, he did want it back. Hold on to it. Ryan might nick it. Ah, time for a little bit of me. I can't put this edit in widescreen, so we'll just have to see what happens. Oh yes, the celebration. I'm setting up an end-of-season syrup award for the best on-camera celebration. Phoenix members, take note. Thank you, Dan. Clearly paying attention at Rob Milford's training day. Ah, and Baz was bowling at the other end. I haven't shown much of his stuff yet, largely because nothing happened. 
Until now, a third catch by Ash. What a great day he's having behind the stumps. He's celebrating now. Shot BBB. Got what it deserved. And another. Rebello the Younger gets caught by Rohan. Time for a catch up. And it's bleak. Friendly 4th 11 are down to 55 for 7. And Chima unlikely to return. We guessed this because he'd already driven off. Oh, up in the air, and another catch by Ash. For a not very well deserved second wicket, but another chance for a celebration. One to go, can Baz tie it up? Yes, he can! And Dan celebrates for him. Well, not as close as last week, but believe it or not, a far better game of cricket. You should thank your lucky stars we didn't stream it. Brimley 4th 11, all out for 61. So what does Skipper Baz have to say for himself? Yeah, decent. Won the toss, thought we'd have a little bat. Uh, a little bit worried at 46 for 6 or whatever we were, or 56 for 6, and then Lukey smashed 127. Not very happy with that. Took two wickets yourself, how did the bowling go? Three. Three wickets, how did it go? Get it right, Dan took two. Uh, ben took two, yeah, good, decent stuff. Good to get revenge on the, uh, on the geese? Definitely. That's what happened when we got on a proper pitch, you see. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what happened with the bells as well? Oh yeah, so we're going to present this to uh, Big Bad Dan O'Galley because uh, his absolute pace broke the bell. So come in, Dan, we'll present this to you. Not quite the ashes unless you want to burn them down, but... Thanks, absolute mate. fail breaker. Delivery, though, so, yeah. I'll take that all day long. Good stuff. And uh, one last thing. Next week, going to win? Is a pig's ass pork. <laughs> Vegans and vegetarians, that's a Cheers, yes. Guys. Back to the first 11. Their win was even more emphatic. Decimating grey shot for 44 runs. Four bowlers used. Greedy Tom Fryer took his third fiver for the club. And Bikram defied expectation and took not one wicket, but three. And Bijan Roker is this week's Dom Award winner. After the match, there was much merriment. We'll put music over this so we sound a lot better. Oh, will we now? See you next time!